Now to the big story tonight at 10. Cocaine found at a local daycare. The police are investigating after an infant tested positive for the drug. The discovery made it kinder care near Howell and Drexel Avenues in Oak Creek. 12 News Kendall Keys is there live tonight. Kendall, a teacher is now charged with a misdemeanor. Right, a charge of cocaine possession. I talked to an attorney representing the one year old. He says this all started when the mother discovered scratches and marks on her son after picking him up from this kinder care. Parent pickup time at kinder care in Oak Creek Tuesday, nearly one week after police say they found cocaine in a worker's backpack at the daycare. The investigation began May 15th when an 11 month old's mother took her son to a hospital after finding scratches and marks on the child. The boy tested positive for cocaine the following week. So investigators went looking for the source, which led them to the baby's daycare, Kinder Care in Oak Creek. On May 22nd, police say a drug sniffing dog found a small baggie with cocaine inside. The drugs and 24 year old Passion Watson's backpack a worker at the daycare. And a week later, you have staff, teachers still bringing cocaine to the facility. Attorney B. Ivory Lamar spoke with 12 News from a Texas airport. He's on his way to Milwaukee and is representing the infant's mother. I would expect that a corporate daycare with that many locations that has that type of brand recognition to have the appropriate protocols and standards and policies to ensure against what took place. Watson faces a misdemeanor cocaine possession charge. The complaint against her says she admitted it was a quote possibility the baby was exposed to the cocaine from her. In a statement to 12 News, a kinder care representative said in part quote all of our centers and programs are drug, alcohol and tobacco free. The teacher involved is out of our center on administrative leave while police continue their investigation. Kendall 12 News found the Wisconsin Department of Children and Families logged several violations at that kinder care in recent years. Patrick, over the last three years, more than 20 violations, including one case where staff reported fellow staff being aggressive with infants and toddlers. 